Welcome to the demo on how to submit RESTful calls into ServiceNow. By watching this demo, you will understand how to make RESTful direct web service calls against the ServiceNow table. ServiceNow does not offer a traditional REST API that follows the URL format of nouns to specify the target resource combined with HTTP methods of post, get, put, and delete to define the verb or action of the web service call. That being said, ServiceNow does offer a RESTful method of making API calls into the instance. Now in order for this to work properly, you will need to ensure that the JSON Web Services plugin is enabled for your instance. For fully detailed information on the JSON Web Service plugin, simply search the ServiceNow wiki for JSON Web Service. This plugin is the mechanism that allows you to make RESTful calls to the instance and is triggered when there is a JSON query string included in the URL. The JSON Web Service API allows for the following operations on any table in the system. You can insert a single or multiple records. You can update records. Delete a single or multiple records. You can get keys for records. You can get individual records. And you can get multiple records and all their data. For this demo, we will use one of ServiceNow's open demo instances. As mentioned previously, in order for you to make RESTful calls into ServiceNow, you must first enable the JSON Web Service plugin. To do this, log into the instance as an administrator. Then we are going to browse to the plugins module within the instance. Once the list of plugins has loaded, we will search for the term star JSON in the filter. Now that the plugin is displayed, we will right click on the plugin and choose to activate it within the instance. I have created a JSON RESTful Post tool to help people who develop integrations to ServiceNow. In order to access this tool, hover over the Tools menu and click ServiceNow. A list of a few tools will appear. Click on the RESTful Post tool for ServiceNow. At the top of the tool, I have created a number of templates that demonstrate the functionality that is available through the API. In order to use one of the templates, click on the desired button and notice the fields that are automatically populated. Modify the fields to match your instance information as well as the query and data that you need to set. Let's create a problem record within the tool. I will first click on the Insert Template button to have the tool populate the required information with some sample data. I will then modify that data to fit our situation. I will change the address and the credentials to match those of my instance. Our endpoint, in this case, will be the problem table. Notice that the body of the post is in JSON format. For this example, we want to create a problem that has a dis short description of Windows 7 workstations are vulnerable to the latest Java security hole. We will list the priority for this problem as a 1. Finally, we will set the description to be running the automatic Java update process should fix this issue. Now, let's click the submit button to post the RESTful call to the ServiceNow API. Let's quickly check the demo instance to see if our problem ticket was created from our RESTful post. As we can see, the problem ticket was created successfully. Once the tool has submitted its request, it generates information that allows you to understand the HTTP components that made up the RESTful post to the API. The post URL section displays the URL string that should be used as the target for the post. Since the web service is protected with basic authentication, the raw header information is also displayed. Since we are doing an insert action, the JSON formatted post body content is also displayed. Next, 
you are shown the response that ServiceNow provided with the corresponding RESTful post. In this case, you see the details of the problem ticket that was created. Finally, the tool displays sample code snippets in a variety of programming languages that would generate the very same REST call that you made through the tool. This will allow you to copy and paste the segment of code and incorporate it into your tool that will be responsible for consuming the web service. Now please note that while there are some JavaScript examples, many browsers may limit your posting ability to protect you from cross-site scripting attacks. Below the post and sample code information, the tool is displayed once again with the same settings you used in the last post. You can click on another template button and perform another operation if you wish. Let's delete the record we just created. In order to do this, we will click the Delete Record Template button and copy the sysid that was returned to us in the prior response into the sysid field of the form. Now we will click the Submit button to submit the request. We then will verify that it no longer appears in our problem table. Now let's say we want to write a PHP script that uses the REST web service to generate 10 problem tickets. We will first perform an insert function within the tool. We will set the short description to RESTful POST TEST. Everything else will just be the default values of a new problem ticket. We'll go ahead and submit the request. Once we have a response, we will then view the sample PHP code that was generated. We'll copy that code and paste it into our PHP editor. Now, we will build a loop around that code and we'll add a counter that goes from 0 to 10. We will pin the counter to our short description on each problem created. Now that we have set that up, we will launch the PHP page in our browser to have the script generate the problem tickets. Once that is done, we can go to our instance to verify that the problem tickets have been created. And that's it! Thank you for watching the demo of my ServiceNow RESTful posting utility. My hope is that with this handy tool in your back pocket, you will be ready to embark on the adventure of interacting with a ServiceNow instance using REST-based clients. The post generator should save you hours of effort in understanding the API and coding up the necessary components for integrating with ServiceNow RESTfully. Thank you once again.